the ORAP. I am Davina. Here are the stories making headlines today. Queen's counsel Katie Knight on Monday objected to a request by prosecutors to have two Dutch investigators assigned to the 16-year Trafigura case sit in chambers on Wednesday when deliberations take place to decide if Portia Simpson Miller will be excused as a witness in the matter. Knight, who is the attorney representing the former People's National Party President and Prime Minister, filed an application to have Simpson Miller excused from giving evidence in the case due to medical reasons. The two Dutch investigators were present in court on Monday as PNP supporter Norton Hines and former Energy Minister Philip Paulwell took the witness stand regarding the 2006 three-part transfer of $31 million to a bank account under the name Colin Campbell or Candidate. Meanwhile, the former investigator in the case against reputed leader of the Klansman gang Tesha Miller today said he pegged the criminal organization as hovering between a second and third generation criminal outfit. The former lawman, who said he has arrested and charged many other gangsters, described the Klansman gang as a system in which the members tend to prey upon themselves. The retired inspector of police said the culture of the gang is one in which the leader is usually hands-off with these killings, but that they take place on his instructions. The St. Elizabeth police today seized 107 parcels of ganja and a twin-engine boat following a patrol at the Parity Fishing Beach in the parish. Reports are that a team was on patrol when they observed men acting suspiciously on the beach. The men reportedly ran from the area and made good their escape. Shortly after, the police seized 16 large bags containing the parcels of ganja. The police also seized seven containers with fuel and 30 Nicaraguan dollars. In other news, the United Nations Human Rights Office today confirmed 474 civilian deaths in Ukraine since the Russian invasion began late February. The office also said that the number of confirmed civilian injuries now stands at 861. However, the UN said the real figures are much higher, in part because intense fighting has delayed the receipt of information and many reports are yet to be corroborated. And an expert group convened by the World Health Organization said it strongly supports urgent and broad access to booster doses of COVID-19 vaccine amid the global spread of Omicron. In a statement, WHO said its expert group concluded that immunization and authorized COVID-19 vaccines provide high levels of protection against severe disease and death amid the continuing spread of the hugely contagious Omicron variant. This follows the organization's position in January to only recommend boosters once countries had adequate supplies and after protecting their most vulnerable. This has been the ORAP. Catch up with these and other stories on JamaicaObserver.com. I am Davina. <laughs>